was 15 years old, um, I was I was told by my father, who uh, finished up wearing about 700 games uh, after he witnessed me having a mental breakdown in the middle of a game as a player that I had to unblock because I had a very poor attitude. And my point is that I have one. As soon as I started umpiring after playing, I just fell in love with it. I, I think I. I definitely enjoy umpiring more than playing. I love the fact that you're always in the middle of, particularly as a field umpire, you're always in the middle of that decision making process. And I also, the part of you that gets everyone looking at you as an umpire, I certainly enjoy that part as well. I got the same things in my head that you do. I, I, I got community. So the Newcastle Central Coast Umpires Association is my new club. Uh, before that, I've been with the Geelong Football Umpires Association, the Victoria Amateur Football Umpires Association and in WA I was with the Waffle Colts so and I've also been with the AFL Academy at one point but I, I left I left the pathway as a 17 year old to become an AFL umpire to study music and musical theatre. In 2020 and music and so it's nice at the end of the finals as we come out of lockdown hopefully in Melbourne and things maybe start to move to a post-COVID world fingers crossed touch wood um, maybe I feel like I've done I've achieved some goals this year Victoria probably takes itself a little more seriously with Aussie rules because we seem to think that we when I say we I still consider myself a Victoria we seem to think that we own the game um, but I'll tell you, there's a lot of very passionate people up here, as you can hear from the stereo pumping out the tunes. Y'all ready for this? The big thing about today is that after today, I'm heading up to the Great Northern Hotel to play three sets, uh, three 45-minute sets, and that's with um, that's with just me. Well, now that'll be the day that you say goodbye. Now that'll be. The so to prepare for a day like today, uh, which is obviously two games of football and three sets of music, um, I'm obviously going to want to get a lot of sleep prior to today. Um, I'm not going to be smoking any cigarettes, I'm not going to be drinking any beers, uh, I'm going to be focused on what I'm eating throughout the day to make sure I've got what I need. So really it's just about managing both the body and the voice that is attached to the body is very important. Because obviously people would be able to understand that umpiring is a lot of voice use. Um, and constantly having to be loud so players hear you. It's amazing how umpiring is pretty much like frontman training because you're running, jogging, walking, then you're blowing a whistle, <sighs> expelling air like you do when you sing, then you immediately have to sing it or, or speak again and then bang, you've got to run again. As a, as a frontman, people would know that I like to be very physical and I like to move about the stage. So it prepares my diaphragm, it prepares my lungs, it prepares my voice and it's sort of, obviously people know how I sing, I don't sing like a, a shy, dainty flower. In a way, umpiring is a great preparation for the performing and the performing gives me skills around being able to take charge when I need to, being able to make sure that I can have the presence required to make sure games don't descend into um, violence, which is really a part of my job, is to make sure that there's no acts of, of violence, and if there are, that they are reported and dealt with. So I, I feel like my experience in days like today is really useful as well, which is slightly more abstract concept, but knowing what it takes to umpire a game of footy, to umpire finals, to umpire grand finals, as I have before, and then to go and, and play a gig, I know, I know what it takes to do both of those. So put it, oh, to be fair though, this is the first time I've umpired two games and had a gig, so. I, I, I'm, I'm breaking new ground, even at 40, which is exciting. I love, I love the, act, the active nature of them both. I love being in the middle of it, as far as being an umpire or being a singer. I love the, uh, the teamwork that's involved. You get, you get a sense of community, you get to move around, you get to be a part of it, and they're the things that I love about it. They're both so different and I love them both. They're both such huge parts of my life and I'm going to do them until the day I can't anymore. In digital widescreen perfection I'm not what you think hey. 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 But I'm not what you think hey. So think Cheezo, 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 cheezo <laughs>
I can't close with Dylan, I'm closing with another Australian song.